welcome back and happy 2016. I hope you had an awesome New Year's and I am going to be doing a um, 2015 favorites in a kind of get ready with me style. Now I already shot um, a 2015 favorites and was editing it and I had to just delete it. It was so bad I just was rambling on about nothing and doing unnecessary swatches and it was like 30 minutes long and just I was boring myself. So we're doing this again. So this is coming a little bit late, but you know, eh, hopefully it'll be enjoyable and all that stuff anyway. So uh, let me stop doing this thing that I do, just blabbering on forever and ever and let's get into it. All right, so I've kind of got it down to um, favorites for each kind of category of makeup. So we're just going to dive right on in. Now, I don't have a primer favorite. Um, I'm testing one out uh, at the moment from Milani. Um, but for 2015, I just, there wasn't one that really um, spoke to me. But for foundation, the thing that I've really been loving this year is the Kat Von D um, Locket Tattoo Foundation. Uh, this, as we know, is not the best color for me. So I tend to mix it with the NYX BB Cream. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful texture. It's long wearing. It, um, it looks really nice on the skin. It's just got a great texture that I haven't been able to find in other um, drugstore foundations. I also want to give an honorable mention to the It Cosmetics um, CC Cream, which I think I'm actually going to repurchase soon. Um, it's just a great everyday. The fair shade is perfect for me, generally speaking, but especially in winter when I'm at my palest. Um, it's just a great uh, fuller coverage, tinted moisturizer type product. Favorite concealer time, and no surprise, I'm sure it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Um, as much as my drugstore loving makeup self hurts to spend $30 on a concealer, this is totally worth it. The texture of it is amazing. The coverage is great. The thing that blows my mind the most about it, um, it just blends in so well and it does not crease. I have not had this crease once on me. It's, I don't know what sorcery it is. It's amazing. set that all with my favorite powder of the year, which is the Wet n Wild Coverall in the shade Fair is what I use it in. Sorry if that didn't focus. Uh, there's a really annoying shadow being created by my tripod and I can't fix it and it's annoying me, but it's neither here nor there. Um, but this is just a great everyday powder. It sets, it doesn't look cakey. It's like $2.99. So I have, <laughs> I have a hard time. I, I mean, I have not tried a whole lot of other powders this year. I feel like I don't need to, because this is just, it's a great powder for not a lot of money. It, I mean, it doesn't last forever, but it's so cheap. It doesn't really matter. Um, it has a little bit of coverage, so it smooths everything out. Uh, it doesn't, you know, I definitely need to touch up with it. It doesn't keep me oil free all day, but nothing does. So I wouldn't hold it against it. It's just a great, great little powder. I always go back to it. Um, yeah. Favorite eye primer this year has definitely been the Wet n Wild Fergie Take On The Day Primer. Again, just a great little um, primer. Um, I have oily lids. I've heard that this works really well for people with oily lids. Um, it stays a little bit tacky on the eye, so it's really great at grabbing shadow. Um, it doesn't add any oomph to your eyeshadow, or to my eyeshadow, I should say. Um, but it keeps it in place, and that's really all I need a 
primer to do. All right, for favorite brow products, I have two, one of which I don't have with me, but the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I just, it's great. It's a perfect brow pencil. Um, there are dupes for it. I've had the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is almost an exact dupe. However, the Anastasia lasted me for most of the year. And the NYX Brow Pencil lasted me for, I think, two months. So, while the NYX Brow Pencil is half the price of the Anastasia one, I feel like you get a lot more bang for your buck with the Anastasia one. Um, if you're willing to make that initial investment. And it's, you know, it's 20 bucks, which isn't a crazy amount. It's a lot for a brow pencil, but I think it might be worth it. But the other one that I've really loved this year is the NYX, ooh, there we go, the NYX Eyebrow Gel. This I really loved during the summer because this does not budge. It's, you know, I don't mind the process of putting this on but you know if you don't like a process <laughs> this is probably not for you but this i've really loved this year it's also great if you um sweat a lot work out a lot or live in a hot climate it just it stays put So I can't obviously put all of my eye favorites on my eyes, but I'm going to go through them and just see what happens. So my favorite cream shadow for the year is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot. This is in the shade Cruisin' Chic, and it's just a nice neutral kind of taupey, shimmery, um, pretty color. I'll put it on uh, now, guys, why not? Uh, <laughs> it is... It's amazing. These are amazing. I definitely want more colors. I have a couple, um, but I definitely want more. They are super pigmented. They are really long wearing. If I didn't have oily eyelids, I could wear this all day without a primer. No problem. Even with my oily eyelids, I can still wear this for a few hours without it um, starting to crease and break up, which is good for me. <laughs> Um, I wore this a lot during the summer, um, again, because it just, it stays put so well, and it's a great one shadow, um, product. It's a great, quick, easy, but pretty and put together product. As for a single shadow... Um, I have really loved the Milani Single Shadows. These are the Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. Um, this one was a limited edition for the summer, but I have quite a few. Um, they'll actually be in a, an upcoming video. Um, I don't hear anybody talking about these, and they're freaking fantastic. They're gorgeous colors. They're pigmented. Um, they come in several different textures they have you know satin matte they have shimmer they have highlight um this particular one is a metallic um i just love them and i i feel like they don't get enough love so i'm gonna slap this on top because these uh smudge pots are also great bases this is the shade that i just happen to wear for most of the year it's the one that i've had the longest if you're interested in a kind of full review video, um, and swatches. I have, I think, five? I think I have five shades. Um, I'd be happy to do that, so just let me know in the comments. I have two favorite palettes that I thought I would share with you. Um, the first one is my drugstore pick, uh, and I, I figured I would go with this. This is the Hard Candy, um, top 10 shadow palette in birthday suit. Now, why I chose this one, while this may not be my most exciting palette, I definitely tend to um, gravitate more towards shimmery, um, colorful shadows. 
This has been a really great companion for all of those. These are all matte. The pigmentation is not the greatest in the world, but they are definitely, I mean, for a $6 palette, the pigmentation is fine. <laughs> um, and you get a really nice range of warm and cool tones. Um, there's, you know, there's light, there's mid, there's, you know, one, maybe two dark tones. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good variety for a $6 palette, especially since you know, matte shadows, especially for cruelty-free matte shadows in the drugstore, the pickings are a little bit slimmer. And for a higher-end palette, um, although to be fair, this is the only higher-end palette that I own, <laughs> um, the Anastasia World Traveler palette. Now, I haven't had this the entire year, but oh my god, I love it. Um, I know that this is a limited edition product and maybe not, uh, fair to share it? I don't know, but, you know, they come out with a limited edition every season, um, and from what I understand, the shadows, you know, are comparable slash improved, so I think these are great. It's not a horrendously expensive product. I think this was $30. I think the new one is $35, but still, considering that a lot of palettes are $50, um, this is a pretty good deal, and uh, again, it's just got a nice range of colors of neutrals, mattes, shimmers, glitters. I I just really love this palette. Now for eyeliners, um, my kind of go-to eyeliner this year has been the NYX eyeliners. Um, I really love these. The pigmentation is great. They're soft, they're smooth, they're pretty long wearing. They don't do fantastic in the waterline, I have to say, even though these say waterproof. Um, but the color range is really, I have quite a few of these. Um, again, I can do a swatch review video. If you'd like, just let me know. But I've really, really been enjoying these this year. This particular pencil is in the shade Deep Purple. I think that'll go nice with the kind of rose gold thing we got going on. something very simple. <laughs> Alright, I actually don't have a favorite mascara this year. Um, none of them really grabbed me as a year-long favorite. I definitely had some that I liked, but nothing that I loved. So I'm just gonna throw on, because I need to wear mascara, um, some of the Urban Decay Perversion. Alright, so for favorite bronzer, Got my e.l.f. Um, contouring blush and bronzer palette in St. Lucia. Mine is really grubby, so I apologize. Um, I like the blush also, but this bronzer, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I just, I love it. It's a great color. It's not so pigmented that I'm afraid to use it. But it's also, you know, it's got a got color. And then favorite blush this year is absolutely hands down the Milani uh, Rose Powder Blushes. I have two. I have the shade Coral Cove, um, which is just a really gorgeous um, bright coral. You've seen this in videos before. And then Romantic Rose has been kind of my fall go-to, really beautiful and neutral. So if you um, go heavy elsewhere. This is a great uh, blush to use, and I think it's what I'll use. Now, 
I'm going for Coral Cove. It's been a while. This is a really nice winter one as well. I love how it looks. I feel like it would look good on every skin tone. I haven't seen it on every skin tone, um, but I feel like it would work. It looks great when I'm super pale. It looks nice if you know you have a tan. I'm sure it would look beautiful on deep skin tones too. Just blends in really well. They last um, and they look amazing. They're so pretty. So highly, highly, highly recommend these. These are um, definitely my favorite blushes of the year. And I also feel validated since Tati also named these as her favorite blushes, so yay. Now I didn't even bother with contour because I only have ever used one contour product, which is the um, NYX Powder Blush in Taupe, the old old school formula. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> um, but for highlighter, a lot of the year, honestly, I wasn't super into highlighter. Um, I didn't use one every day or anything like that. Um, recently, I've gotten more into them, but it's also, you know, the end of the year. So I chose the e.l.f. Baked um, Eyeshadow in Enchanted, since this is the one that I've used the most this year. And it's just, it's a beautiful, well, I was going to swatch it on my finger, but I'm going to put it on my face so you can see, hopefully. If not, I'll swatch it on my finger. You can see it in action in a bunch of um, a bunch of my videos, especially in the summer. If you look at my purge videos, um, I remember I wore it there. And while I was editing, I was just like, oh, highlight is amazing. <laughs> now, of course, I have several lip products. <laughs> One that would go really nice with this look um, is the... NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Dahlia. Now I've worn this a ton in videos. It's a gorgeous, really deep, dark berry, almost black. Um, along the dark lip line, this NYX Butter Gloss in Devil's Food Cake has been a favorite throughout the year, even when, you know, it hasn't technically been the time for that color. So it's Again, a nice deep berry red, um, but in gloss form. So if you don't, if this color intrigues you, but also makes you nervous, this is a nice way to start because it's really pigmented for a gloss, but it is still a gloss. So it's still going to be a little bit more sheer and it smells like Skittles. So, you know, if you don't want to crave Skittles, I wouldn't recommend this, but otherwise it's great. One of my favorite lipsticks for the year has been this Bite Beauty Duo in Lingonberry and Tangerine. I like both of them, but Tangerine, if I had to pick one, is definitely the one that I wore the most. It's just, oh my god, it's not, the camera's not really doing it uh, much justice. It's a bright but flattering, corally orange gorgeousness. It's just beautiful. Finally, if I had to pick one favorite lipstick for the year, this would be it. And I'll put it on um, my lips. But this is the Milani Matte um, Color Statement Lipstick in Matte Orchid. It'll be an interesting choice with this makeup, but eh, whatever. It's just, I love the, I will be doing a swatch review video of the Milani lipsticks. Uh, I have a lot of them, but I love this. I, I want to love the matte lipstick thing. I really do, especially the liquid lipsticks. I want to love them. I just, they're uncomfortable. My lips get dry. They're kind of small anyway, so when they get dry and they feel tight and they just it feels gross. Uh, these do not do that. They don't last as long as a liquid lipstick might, um, but they are so freaking comfortable. They smell a little bit like marshmallows, um, and the colors are gorgeous. Uh, super pigmented. I've had this for, well, since these came out, and it still feels super smooth and creamy, um, but it does, it has a matte finish. So uh, these, mm -hmm. 
They're so good. All right, so there you have it, the finished look, and my 2015 favorites. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, smart remarks, you can leave them below. If you would like um, swatch videos or more in-depth reviews on any of these products or, you know, groups of products, let me know. I would love to do that. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope um, 2016, so far, a few days in, <laughs> is treating you well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.